Good morning kids. How are you? Are you all fine? Okay, good. Okay. So, you are very much interested in online classes, right? Okay. Very good. Now, uh, I want to ask you one thing. So, in our last class, we have completed unit 2, right? How the dog found himself a master, right? We studied about the uh, this portion, right? Okay. So, I have told you to complete the book exercise, right? So, have you all completed? Is it? But I got only few of your uh, answers. And you all didn't send me the snapshot, right? Only few students have sent me the snapshot. Why? Okay. Don't forget to send. Okay. So, by today or by tomorrow, you complete all the book exercises and send me the snapshot. Okay. Don't forget. Okay. So, shall we enter into the new portion? Okay. So, you all have a hobby, right? So, you all will have a hobby and some uh, loves to play cricket and someone's hobby is ba playing badminton and you may have different types of hobbies, right? And some people have a hobby of flying kite. Do you have a hobby, right? Of, of flying kite? Do you have? Is it? Oh, so you know how to fly kite, right? Is it? Okay. So, today the poem is about the kite. Okay. So, the poem is about a kite. And when we are studying this poem, we know how the kite flies and what are the difficulties in flying kite and everything we will know. Okay. So, at the end of the poem, you may understand everything related to the kite. Okay. So, this is a poem and definitely someone would have written this, right? Shall we see who wrote this poem? Yeah, he is the one who wrote this poem, okay? So, shall we see his name? He is Harry Ben, okay? So, the kite, the author of this poem, the kite is Harry Ben. Okay, very good. Now, uh, first let us read the poem, okay? So, I will read it twice. You should read along with me, okay? Are you all ready? Have you all taken your book? So, you have to take page number 27, okay? So, you can turn to page number 27 in your book and you can read along with me, okay? So, shall we stop reading? Yeah. Here is the first paragraph. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. With a dive and a dip, it snaps its tail, then soars like a ship with only a sail as over tides of wind it rides climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls then seems to rest as wind falls when string goes slack you wind it back and run until a new breeze blows and its wings fill and up it goes. So, shall we read once more? How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. With a dive and a dip, it snaps its tail, then soars like a ship with only a sail. As over tides of wind it rides, climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls, then seems to rest as wind falls. When string goes slack, you wind it back and run until a new breeze blows and its wings fill and up it goes. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new but a ragged thing you never will see when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree. Okay, so now we shall see the explanation of the poem okay so i will give the meaning of the hard words you can note it on your book okay okay see how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new so blue means here they are not saying the color but they are saying the sky okay so the sky looks blue in color right yeah it's saying that how bright on the blue that is how bright on the sky is a kite when it's new. 
so when you buy a new kite it will be very bright right so when you're flying it on the sky it looks so bright and it so, looks so beautiful okay so this is said in the first two lines okay so what is said when we fly a very bright uh, new kite especially new kite okay so you have to keep it in mind it's a new kite on the blue blue means sky right so yes how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new with a dive and a dip it snaps its tail so uh, when we are flying the kite for the first time sometimes if you are flying the kite and all of the sudden it won't go up okay sometimes or oh, we may not know we may be the learner we may be the beginner for flying the kite and we don't know how to fly the kite even i when i am trying it for the first time then definitely the it won't fly right it will fall down likewise what the kite is uh, doing is if the with a dive and the dip it's diving diving means what's the meaning of dive yeah moving down right so when we are trying to fly the kite sometimes it may move down and it may come down okay so it may be moving down and coming down it won't fly higher okay so with a dive and a dip dip means also bend and coming down okay so it may not fly it may come down okay with a dive and a dip it snaps its tail yes so what's it here so uh, it snaps a snap means meaning is break suddenly okay so breaking suddenly or sometimes making a cracking noise okay so when the kite it's diving uh, it makes a, a breaking snaps sometimes it may break or else it may make a sudden sound okay a cracking times with its tail okay so what is said as tail here is nothing but the thread okay so uh, the kite is flying with the help of a thread right so with a dive and a dip it sometimes uh, breaks its uh, tail tail means thread or sometimes it may make a sound okay with its tail okay so when it's coming down it suddenly makes a sound okay and then soars like a ship with only a sail so what is it is the soar the meaning of the word soar is rise so when the ship it's going on the sea it somewhat rises right you may see in the uh, videos right so it soars like a ship only with the sail so sail means what is sail uh, it means traveling through water right so when the ship is traveling through water it soars like it rises okay so it rises you may see you may have seen in many videos right so it soars like a ship with only a sail as the ship uh, is uh, uh, zoning rising up when it is sail likewise this kite it when rises up with the help of the thread okay do you understand s shall we move to the next one okay so here you want to note one thing uh, actually this uh, kite it is compared to ship okay it is compared to ship so this comparison is called a simile okay comparing a thing with another one thing is called simile particularly while comparing in simile we will have words such as as or like okay so as or like so these two words may be there okay oh it is like so here you can see the uh, kite is like a ship so the word like is used here right right so when we have uh, the words like as or like for comparison then it is called simile okay okay so the figure of speech simile is used here okay and now we shall move to the next one yeah as over tides of wind it rides climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls then seems to rest as wind falls so as over tides of wind it rides so already i have told you in the previous uh, slide i have shown you right uh, what i what i said uh, it is compared to ship right yes so when the ship it rides over the tides you all know right so waves right we will go up and down like the moment will be up and down so as the ship uh, is uh, moving up and down in the tides of wind it rides the sky it is also it's just moving up and down okay so it will go up and come down right 
so when you loosen the string or when you loosen the thread uh, then it will go up right so it will go higher 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 and then suddenly comes lower 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 even to the ground it comes right is it so the kite flies with the help of wind right so only if you have wind the kite can fly higher right so yes so in the sea when the tides they are moving this a uh, uh, ship will move further right likewise this when we have wind so this wind is very necessary for flying the kite as the a uh, ship is riding over the tide this kite it's riding over the wind okay so here he says oh uh, actually you might see in a uh, Uh, videos or any photographs right the ship or a boat uh, it have a canvas right the cloth so when this uh, wind uh, it goes and hits the cloth and uh, this makes the ship to our boat to move likewise uh, so this wind when it is filling the air in the kite then it blows up okay so with the help of the wind when the wind go and hit the kite it goes higher and higher So now the poet is saying that it is only possible for the kite to fly up if there is wind, okay? And then it climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls. So what's the meaning of crest? Is highest point, okay? So when we are uh, loosening the thread, it uh, climbs up higher, okay? It crest means highest point, okay? So the it climbs to the it climbs means it's just reaching to the highest point okay it's a flying flying and going on higher and higher of a gust and pulls so gust means stormy wind so when there is a stormy stormy means the very wild wind okay heavy wind and the the sky goes higher and higher higher okay and then seems to rest as wind falls and then it will come to rest uh when the wind falls when there is no wind i will fall down right so i already have told you when with the only with the help of wind uh this kite flies higher and higher and this wind is very much necessary for the flying of the kite okay so do you understand this okay to the next when string goes slack you wind it back and run until a new breeze blows and its wings fill and up it goes so in the last part we studied that so when their wind falls then the sky would come to rest right and then when the string goes slack slack means loose so after that you wind it back and run so when the wind comes black back you will lose your strings okay string means nothing but thread okay so when string goes loose you wind it back and run until a new breeze blows so breeze means see here gentle wind so in the previous part we saw gust right so gust is a very stormy wild wind and now this is a gentle wind so if we have very mild wind then it will be easy for us to fly the kite okay so uh as we are loosening this string what will happen when the wind is when a breeze when a gentle wind blows uh, we shall run and its wings will fill and up it goes so i need i had told you right so when the wings is filled with a uh, wind then definitely it will go up so when a gentle breeze blows or a gentle wind blows so the wings will be filled with what air right so it will be filled with air and it will go up okay okay do you understand shall we go to the next part yes how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new but a ragged old thing you never will see when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree read it with me how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new but a ragged old thing you never will see when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree so let's see again he is saying it's very bright to see oh the kite on the blue sky especially the kite which is new right so already in the first line itself he told the same thing right again he is repeating 
it's very pleasant it's very beautiful to see and the new kite uh, on the sky okay but a raggeder thing you will see you never will see and it's very beautiful but one thing you don't want to see okay so what's the meaning of raggeder means rough or ugly so you don't want to see the rough or ugly kite right will you love to see no right you won't like if the kite is very rough or ugly so when it is new it will be very bright and you loves to fly the kite but uh, what thing you want you are not uh, willing to see is the ragged thing that is the rough and ugly kite how it will happen like this yeah when it flaps on the string in the top of a tree so when it will happen is sometimes the kite may go somewhere it flies and it flies and sometimes it may get struck into the uh what's it into the tree right so when it flaps on a string flap means fly or flutter like struggling okay when it's struggling on the string and it falls into the top falls into the top of the tree then what you will do then definitely uh you will uh, what's it uh you will uh, uh take the thread back right to bring the kite back to you uh, so at this time all the branches and the sticks in the tree it will make the kite uh, to tear and to make it ugly right so this may happen okay sometimes this may happen there's a first it may be looking very bright and blue but uh sometimes the kite may looks rough and ugly because it may fall on the top of the tree and it may get damaged okay i think you have understand this uh, poem is it do you understood okay so i think uh, this is enough for today's class okay so we have studied this poem right okay uh, now what i have to do is uh, i'll give the exercise okay so working with a poem you have when you take page number 28 you can know list out the action words in the poem so action words mean what is the meaning of action words verb right so for example they have given dive dip snaps etc they are given so what you have to do is you have to write all the action words in your note and you have to find the meaning for it okay what are the action words that is in the poem and then the second question is read this line from the poem and then soars like a ship with only a sail so here already i have told you when i am explaining the poem right so the kite is compared to ship and it is called simile so in the simile while comparing we need to have words like such as like or as okay so here you can the question is asked can you suggest what or who the following actions may be compared to so he runs like and it is given as dash so you have to fill right uh, so listen to me only then you can understand and complete it actually um, what say oh, who will run very fast maybe comparing to uh, animals okay deer will deer right so this deer will uh, run very fast so if you want to say that the person is running so fast you can say as he runs like a deer right so i am just given the example for you uh, you can use some other words okay then he eats like so eating means uh, if you are want to say he is overeating then you can use any animals or birds which overeat or if you want to say that he is eating very less then you can use any animals which will eat less okay so you can compare okay and he sings like so if he is singing very much then you can compare to the bird which sings very nicely and if he is singing very worse you can uh, say any bird or animal which makes sound very rough okay so so you can compare like that okay okay so then and the third question it is given us try to make a kite with your friends collect the things required such as color paper newspaper or newspaper thread glue a thin stick that can be bent okay so they have asked you to make a kite with your friends an activity is given uh, so you anyway you are in, at home you'll be sometimes you'll be bored like so at that time uh, you try to make a kite okay so if you do so don't forget to send me the snapshot okay okay 
so complete these exercises and send me the snapshot okay students okay so this is about today's portion okay so thank you so much for your patient listening okay thank you students thank you so much so we shall meet on our next class okay thank you